Hi everyone, this video I'm going to be talking about potentially the, the smallest chess variant uh, that is in common play around the world, uh, although the theoretical result is known, but it's still very interesting to play because unlike, say, tic-tac-toe, it's not very easy to remember the correct uh, strategy. Uh, this is also known as the Botsu Shogi or Animal Shogi because the pieces uh, are represented by animals. The chick, the elephant, the lion, the giraffe, and also the chick can promote to the hen. Uh, it's the only piece that promotes. Uh, actually, the lion does promote, but promotes in an unusual way, I'll show later on. Uh, it was invented by female shogi champion. I apologize if I pronounce her name incorrectly, but it's Madoka Kitao. Um, she is actually um, probably the fa the most famous person who has actually friended me on Facebook. We've discussed the game in a little bit of detail. Um, I'm mostly interested in the uh, computer uh, the theory of it. Uh, she obviously is more interested in the art and uh, just game design in general. And um, she actually pointed me to the paper with the solution. It's written in Japanese. Uh, I'll get to that later. Um, so, let's catch the lion does not have any long range pieces. All of these pieces can only move one square orthogonally or diagonally, and the moves are actually represented on the logo itself, so it's very nice to for learning shogi. Um, and just like shogi, uh, the drop rule is um, in use, so any piece that is captured becomes your own to drop and right off the bat the first move can be a capture and actually this is the best move uh, it's been proven to be the best move uh, it's a losing move because of the theoretical result is that the first player or as the Japanese like to call it black even though the pieces are not colored loses but this move delays loss the most by 81 moves uh, anyways I'm getting ahead of myself uh, so pieces captured become held on hand. And um, elephant uh, moves diagonally, one square. Uh, only one though, not two. And just like in traditional shogi, you are not allowed to capture your own piece. The object of the game, just like traditional shogi, is to capture the opposing lion, uh, including stalemate. Stalemate is a win, unlike in western chess. There is another way to win, though, and that's where I was talking about the lion promoting. Um, if your lion makes it safely to the very back rank and gets there without putting itself in check, um, it's a win. Oh, about the um, drop move. Um, in traditional shogi, there are restrictions on how you can drop pawns. Um, chicks are basically the equivalent of pawns. Um, there's no restriction in uh, let's catch the lion. You can have two, you, you know, the kings can't be in check, of course, but you're allowed to drop two chicks in the same file. Um, you're allowed to drop a chick to give instant checkmate. So, um, for example, this would be legal. Um, and just like in traditional shogi, if you capture an opposing hen, so in this case, you could give a capture here, and this would promote, actually. Um, the hen reverts to a chick. It can only be dropped as a chick. Oh, the other restriction that does not hold in Let's Catch the Lion is chicks are allowed to be dropped in the back rank. They don't promote when you do that, but that is allowed. That's actually a very important distinction. Uh, you would think this is a stupid move, but uh, the paper on um, the solution for Let's Catch the Lion showed that it's very crucial you're allowed to do this. The theoretical result actually changes if this is not a legal move. Uh, anyways, I hope this has caught your interest. Uh, one thing that really disappointed me when I got the set, um, because I thought the set would be made in Japan, and really, really disappointed that I contributed to our trade deficit with China. Uh, unfortunately, I think Japan itself has a trade deficit overall. I don't know against China. Uh, they have since the tsunami five years ago now. 
Oh, but fortunately it looks, well, I guess I'm ready, but the rest of the world's gonna be speaking Chinese very soon, it seems like. Thanks for watching.